The first episode of the new Harlan Coben thriller, Shelter, is out now, and it's chock full of mysteries that will hopefully be sorted out in the next episodes. Shelter is a young adult mystery series written by Harlan Coben about a little kid named Mickey Bolliter whose family is always in a mess. The book by the same name was taken from Harlan Coben's Myron Bolliter series, in which Mickey's uncle has a big part. What happened in Harlan Coben's Shelter Episode 1? Mickey Bolliter and his dad Brad moved to Santa Monica because Brad thought it would be good for Mickey's basketball. But before any of that could happen, Mickey's family had an accident, Mickey's dad died right away, but his mom made it, even though she was in a bad shape. After Mickey moved in with his aunt Shira Bolliter, he stopped caring about stuff and didn't plan anything. On his first day at Cass Elton High, Arthur Spindell, super excited, said hello, because he was given the job of looking after the new kids. Arthur tried a lot to talk to Mickey, but Mickey wasn't into it. Even though Mickey tried his best, Arthur kept bugging him. Mickey met a girl named Ashley at school, and it was clear he liked her. In no time, they planned to hang out after school. Since the first day wasn't so bad, Mickey was happy. Weird stuff started when Mickey was on his way home. A weird old lady was in front of an old house when he got there. She comforted him saying his dad was still around and then locked herself in. Mickey asked her for more info but got nothing. Emma Winslow, a student from Cass Elton, came over just then and looked at Mickey like he was crazy. She told him to stop with his joke because she wasn't scared. Mickey was lost and then found out nobody had lived in that house for ages. Mickey heard about the Bat Lady story but thought nobody would buy it if he said he saw an old lady there. From a flashback, something big happened to Brad 25 years ago that changed his life from the start of Harlan Coben's Shelter Episode 1. A young kid named Dalen Shakes vanished from Cass Elton, New Jersey, where Brad and his family lived before, and the cops couldn't figure out what happened to him. People didn't believe the stories about the Bat Lady, who supposedly lived in a spooky house. Nobody really saw this Bat Lady, it was just a story parents told to keep their kids in at night. Brad was too shy to face the bullies, so when they dared him to check out the spooky house, he went for it. The door opened itself when Brad was at the door and closed after him. The bullies got worried when Brad took forever, so they called for backup. Mickey's aunt Shira said even though Brad came out okay, he wasn't the same. Shira didn't buy the Bat Lady story, but she felt whatever freaked out the young boy was something different. After hearing Shira's story, Mickey got super curious about that house. Mickey was sure there was a real person in that house and he wasn't crazy enough to make up the Bat Lady. Ever since the old lady told Mickey his dad was still around, he couldn't sit still. Even if he knew it couldn't be true, he had so many doubts. Mickey wanted answers, so he decided to meet the mysterious old lady face to face. Mickey was bummed when Ashley stood him up, but he also felt something was off. We knew a teacher at Cass Elton High was sneakily taking pictures of Ashley for some reason, and the old lady in the spooky house told him to get Ashley to her no matter what. Emma, Arthur, and Mickey decided to check out the spooky house to find Ashley and see if the old lady had anything to do with it. Mickey went inside, leaving Emma and Arthur outside. Mickey noticed Ashley's hippo magnet wasn't where it should be and felt something was wrong. Emma and Arthur were waiting outside when a guy in a suit walked up to them. Mickey caught up with Emma and Arthur after they ran and told them what he found. A ton of info came out at the end of Harlan Coben's Shelter episode 1 that made the story even more twisted. First, Arthur and Mickey looked into a report of an attack at Ashley's house. At first, they thought it was Ashley but it was the lady who lived there's husband. Mickey and Arthur were thrown off when the lady they thought was Ashley's mom said she didn't know anyone named Ashley, even though they had her school address. If Ashley doesn't actually live there, the big question is why did she lie at school? Maybe she felt she was in trouble and was hiding stuff. The blue butterfly tattoo Emma had reminded us of the one on Ashley's locker, where the hippo magnet was in plain view. The hitman working for the old lady shot Ashley's teacher after he took her picture. When Brad called Shira a while back, he told her to look after his family if he wasn't around. You could tell he felt something bad was going to happen to him. Maybe it was just bad luck, but someone had it out for Brad and his family and ended his life. Everyone had secrets, from Emma's butterfly tattoo to Mrs. Friedman's odd behavior, and Mickey had a lot of asking around to do to connect the dots and figure things out. What happened to Ashley, and how Brad died and if it was an accident or on purpose, will be shown in the next episodes.